Hi, I'm Paul, and I'm the lead research technician here at the uh, Hadal Linux Research Labs, and I'm also the, the administrator of the Pop OS Linux Facebook group on Facebook. Today's video, how to install Wine compatibility layer on Endeavor OS Linux. Okay, let's get started. Okay. What is Wine? Wine is a compatibility layer and it enables Linux users to run Windows applications which, you, which usually come with a .exe or .msi file extension. It allows you to run those Windows applications in a Linux environment. Okay? And it's also available on Mac and FreeBSD and Solaris as well. So it's cross-platform. So if you don't have Windows and you want to run a Windows program, you can use Wine Compatibility Layer. Okay? So here's my Endeavor OS desktop, Endeavor OS Linux Arch. It's an Arch derivative. I'm going to go to the terminal and show you my NeoFetch screenshot with the artwork and then the uh, information here. Mainly I want you to look, focus in on that I'm in an Endeavor OS Linux environment here. Okay? Now there's two ways of doing it. I'm going to do it through the command line with the Pac-Man package manager. You can also do it through PAMAC. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, P-A-M-A-C, PAMAC. I've always called it PAMAC. I don't, I'm not sure how you pronounce it exactly. But here it is here, this right here. So pop that open. Now, I'm not going to do it this way because it's too easy. I like to do things in the terminal, a little bit more of a challenge. Take a quick look, and you can... Uh, See that actually is Pamac here about. Okay, Pamac GUI GUI package manager for Endeavor OS Arch Linux. Okay. So I'm not gonna go that way, but let's say I wanted to do that, right? I would just do a search for wine enter on that and then I think you might have to figure out which of these other packages that you might need to do but at the very least install it from here let's see what happens over down if I click okay it just kinda of stages it but I don't really want to get in I don't want to do that right now we just get some information here and it's gonna be pulling it from the multi-lib repository here I'm not going to do that way. I'm going to go through the command line and use Pac-Man instead. So I'm going to minimize that. Go back to my terminal here. And I'm going to clear on this screen here. Okay, just to verify that Wine is not installed, we'll do this uh, Wine dash dash version. As you can see, it's not installed. Once we're done, we can come back here and get the version and verify that it was actually installed. Let's see what uh, commands I have in my history here. Okay, this is the, what I wanted to use here. I'm going to go into a sudo session. I'm going to use the command line package manager Pac-Man. And this dash S, this dash capital S essentially is going to allow Pac-Man to install a package. Unlike other uh, package managers, it would have a dash I or it would actually say install. This is uh, the Pac-Man way of installing a program. So I'm going to pass Wine into this and install Wine on Endeavor Arch Linux. Okay? So once I got that keyed in, I'm going to enter on that it's pretty verbose here 
it's going to resolve dependencies, which is good. And dependency cycle detected. These are just warnings. I don't think we have to worry about these warnings too much. Then it tells you the 22 packages it's going to install along with the main wine runtime here. 8.17. Now this might actually be not necessarily the most current version. This might actually be some kind of uh, experimental or staging version. I'm not sure. I installed uh, wine on a different distro earlier and it was 8.0.2. So this might be even a little bit uh, more feature rich, but it might be a little bit more unstable. But that's what um, this is a rolling release, so we're going to get the most cutting edge, uh, you know, versions of packages on Arch. Okay? So it gives you some particulars here on how big it's going to be. 71 megabytes and then when it actually probably it's less in the download size here because it this might be like somewhat compressed maybe and then once it actually installs it'll be 500 megabytes okay I'm not sure about that that's that's my guess on that okay so everything's all ready to go here we're gonna install wine it's gonna install all, all these dependencies along with the wine runtime here so proceed with installation I'm gonna key in Y it says capital Y but I can go with the small case Y and I get the same result so key in the small Y enter on that let it download and install the dependencies and then back when it's done okay so it went through all the uh... it went through the download and installed all the dependencies and then we're down here and everything looks okay here no errors or anything like that okay so we'll clear on that and wine has been installed let's see if it's Let's see if it's on the path and look at the version here. Okay, good. By virtue of this happening means that wine has been put on the path system variable so we can run it from anywhere in the file system. I'm not sure if it's been installed as a in a global sense only for a single user, but at the very least the user that I'm logged in as can use it. You can see here it's uh, eight eight point one seven, which, like I said before, I, I do believe that this is probably uh, I'm not sure what they call it staging or development or whatever, but it's not just your uh, regular stable version like eight point zero two that I d installed on a different distro earlier. This might be a little bit more cutting edge, but that's the nature of a rolling release distro like Art uh, like um, Endeavor Arch you're going to get the most current cutting edge uh, package versions okay so wine has been installed nonetheless okay so how to use it pretty simple let's say you have a file here in your in your uh, in your user folder a .exe file you ins you downloaded from the internet it's a Windows program and you want to run it while you're in Endeavor OS Arch Linux. Okay, so all you'd have to do is just use Wine here, and this would be the exe file, or it might even be an MSI, I think, as well. I think typically everyone's pretty much familiar with more of the exe. Uh, file extension here. Then you would enter on that and um, it would launch and you know, keep your fingers crossed to see whether it's going to work or not or if it's going to prompt you to install other packages and whatnot like the gecko package and the mono package which kind of simulate uh, different um, Microsoft Windows uh, libraries and applications.
Okay, that's a big part of installing Wine on on Endeavor Arch Linux. On the on the Wine website, though, you might want to look at their their app uh, database, app DB tab, and it's a Wine application database, and there you can get information on the best combination of the Wine version and the you know, the best Wine. The best combination of, of whatever version of Wine, along with whatever version of the uh, the program you're trying you're trying to install, and that that's on the uh, the Wine main website, and I'll I'll uh, post the link there in the uh, description field. So yeah, that's always good to do. It's always good to look at the Wine database, so you can see what the best version of Wine is for the program you're trying to run. It's very important to do that because not every version is going to run with every version of Wine, so you have to find the right combination. And on their website, there's also a place where you can get more information about Wine, file a bug report, and even join their forum and ask for help there. Okay, so we'll back that out, and we'll go back to the Neo Fetch here. Okay. So that was how to install the Wine compatibility layer on Endeavor OS Linux. Now there's no there's no uh, number version for Endeavor or name. It just since it's a rolling release, they don't really use the names and numbers and whatnot. It's just Endeavor OS, and it's always it's a rolling release, so it's just always uh, updated in place. There's no point releases. There's no version numbers, there's no version names, just Endeavor OS Linux. Okay, so that was how to install the Wine compatibility layer on Endeavor OS Linux. How to install it, the different ways, in the command line, and in the uh, GUI pack, the PMAC, uh, GUI manage, uh, software manager, and then in the, in the command line with uh, Pac-Man, and then how to check the version to make sure it's on the path and then just a basic uh, usage about how to pass the .exe file or the .msi MSI file into the wine runtime so that it can go ahead and run the and, you know run and run that uh, Windows program for you okay so uh, I am Paul and I am the lead research technician at the How to Linux Research Labs and I'm also the Administrator for the uh, Pop OS Linux Facebook group on 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 uh, Facebook, and I want to thank you for uh, subscribing and watching. I look forward to your comments and your feedback. And if you have any requests for any videos, let me know. Uh, make a make a, a post a, a question or a comment in the um, in the in the comment section. And watch out for my next video. And until then, thank you for watching. Bye bye.